My name is Sam Mills and I'm a PhD student here at the University of Colorado Denver. Uh, I'm working on a project that's been funded by the NFL to help improve football helmets. So our goal for this project is to make safer football helmets for football players. We are trying to improve these helmets by using this material that we invented here at CU Denver. We think that it could really improve the performance of helmets. And uh, what I'm specifically doing is working on building a computer model for that material so we can test it virtually. So what really gets me excited about modeling this new material is while, while we think it will be really great uh, to improve uh, football helmets on, on all levels of football, we think there's a lot of different applications, spinal fusion devices, uh, knee and hip replacements, and we think that this could really make an impact in those spaces as well. But if we prove that it'll work well on the outside of the body absorbing energy, uh, we think that we can you know, really show that it would per uh, perform well inside the body. My name is Nikki Clark. I'm a PH student slash graduate research assistant, and my project is working on a clinical augmentation tool for children with complex CP. He's technically a robot, and he looks like a bunny, um, so his name is Wabs. We found that um, these kids need hundreds of repetitions daily, and so we want something that can be a standalone augmentation tool to work with these children. I've always had a passion for robotics, and then I've also loved working with kids, and so Getting to kind of marry the two and especially help kids who really need it is, it's just really great. <laughs> My name is Andrew Gross. I'm a Bachelor of Science Electrical Engineering student at the University of Colorado Denver. And my senior design project is working with Team Hyperlinks to build a Hyperloop pod for the SpaceX Hyperloop competition. SpaceX hosts a competition out in LA every year where teams are invited to bring their pods and then race them against each other. In September of 2017, SpaceX announced that teams would have to power their own pods. So essentially, as soon as I got involved with this project, it went from build us a soapbox derby racer to build us a Prius. So not only do we have to physically build a lot of these components, but again, we have to actually get them working together. So I would say that's our biggest achievement as a team um, and something that I feel like I've really pushed the team to do is to design a vehicle that we can actually execute on the design for. Our challenge is to educate students who are gonna be those future engineers. And we have to continually be rethinking, you know, what are the attributes of an engineer of the future? The environment that we, that we teach in, that we do research in and so forth is, is inspirational and it's essential. It, it helps shape what we do. We've just completed a strategic plan that's in essence rebuilding our College of Engineering. This will be a new building that will be the physical response to that new vision of engineering education. What I think is really important is providing those educational opportunities that really are at the cutting edge and are going to prepare them to be leaders in this rapidly changing dynamic world. The university has been tremendously helpful. They actually bought me a new computer to help do the modeling. They helped us set up this lab. Uh, there's always people coming to campus to see what we're doing and uh, I've made a lot of really great industry connections, you know, hopefully for my future when I graduate from here. I've been able to get all the materials that I need and build the system and I've had support with my committee members. Whatever we build here in the lab is pretty cool. We can actually like give it to the person or the clinician and just see it work right away. I looked at the curriculum and saw the amount of lab work that we're required to do. It's part of the reason that I chose the University of Colorado Denver as opposed to other schools. My hands-on experience and my project experience are what got me interviews and I believe what ultimately got me the job offer that I've accepted. So the future kind of is changing quite rapidly as technology is changing. It's actually changing how we need to think about engineers and, and the talents and the skills that engineers have. We're trying to train a new workforce on how these you know, new technologies can really change the way that we think about engineering. Uh, and if we have well-trained and well-educated students who graduate from here, I think they'll really be prepared for that. The ability to bring our students together where they can 24-7 have access to state-of-the-art technology to be able to you know, engineer the future is really our dream.